I was so sick this weekend, I made a terrible mistake. The grocery store was selling Coke Zero variants. I needed to re-up uh, on my stash. I said, you know what? Why wouldn't I get Coke Zero spiced? Raspberry spiced flavored calorie-free cola. Um, the Coca-Cola Corporation was not cooking with this one. It basically, it tastes like, uh, like toothpaste. It's really bad. Also, what I, I've never when I when I thought of spiced, I assumed that it would be like um, I don't know, like like peppery or something, like a little spicy. I didn't assume that spiced meant it, it tastes like raspberries. I guess the English language has changed a lot recently, but. Help me. It's kind of good. It tastes like Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> There's just no excuse for, uh, for it not being carbonated enough. That's my two cents. That's what it's there for, bro, is to be carbonated. Not even close. You know what? We live, we learn. Motherfucker's eyes about to turn blue. My ass gonna be like two word movie title, science fiction 2001. Mm, minority report, Mr. Anderton. Run! Is the non-zero spiced better? Brother, I'm never going to try it. Which one of us is crazy? We're going nuts on the table. You know how in Fast and the Furious they race for slips? Here we argue for nuts. Put your nuts on the table. I'm putting mine on the table. One of us is leaving without our nuts. If the shit tastes bad, why would you want to drink more of it? Why would you want to try a different version? I'll be like, give me the shit that I know tastes good. You drink IPAs? Honestly, uh, IPA heads are the most powerful body in alcohol. We live rent-free in your heads. I used to get annoyed. Guys, you just haven't appreciated the depth of a Citra Hops double IPA. Now I just laugh and I recognize that it means that I have so much power. IPAs are so awful. They all taste like air fresheners. Okay, fucking more for me, bitch. Fuck you. They sell Modelo too. Go get some Modelo. We ain't going nowhere. Yo! <laughs> that was a good jump. You ever see um, the Iron Chef episode where the chairman of Kitchen Stadium reveals that the secret ingredient is beer? Unbelievable uh, reaction image. Or I, I actually sent it to Josh with the caption that said, this is us. Okay, here we go. Josh mentioned... Josh mentioned on a Monday. Woo! <laughs> you ever see Bobby Flay's show? No, not that one. The other one? No, not that one. The other one? Listen. I like Bobby Flay. And honestly, the fact that he is uh, obviously an asshole actually makes him a better person to like playing the heel in Food Network cooking shows. I don't know what's wrong with society. 
You all want good guys and bad guys. You want people that you can root for and you want people that you can root against. The show's called fucking Beat Bobby Flay. All of a sudden, people are like, Bobby Flay's an asshole. I'm like, yeah, that's why you want him to lose, motherfucker. That's why he's the villain. He's, he's embraced his role. Now, should he be yelling at his staff? Probably not. <laughs> Does he have bold Southwest flavors? Yeah, I've heard. I've had family who met him off air tell me he's still an asshole. You have confused yourself when I have spoken so plainly to you. Sorry to use the parlance of Robert Eggers' 2015 film, The Witch. I 100% believe that he is not playing an asshole character for TV. I believe that um, he may be an asshole in real life, and I think it makes him a better television villain as a result. As long as he's not, you know, out there committing felonies, Him just being like kind of an ass, that's perfect. That's the flavor I'm looking for. Because let me tell you, from my experience in Checkpoint League, there's no thrill or value to be found in being a good person who pretends to be a heel. Because 20% of the people watching can't separate reality from fiction so there were people out there during checkpoint league there were people writing comments that were like this guy has actually lost he's won two levels of mario and all of a sudden he's a narcissist he's cutting wwe style promos that i'll admit are entertaining but at the same time he should show a little bit of respect i think to truly I, i'll never do it again if you want to lean into the heel role, you actually need someone who's actually a, at least a little bit of an asshole. Because I think otherwise, if you're like a good person and you're just pretending to be an asshole for TV, as soon as people say negative shit about you, you'll just turn it off. <laughs> That's why you need Bobby Flay, bro. One of these days, we're going to make that. We can make it. We can make it. We can make it. We can make it. Is Dan a heel? No, and that's the, um, that's the tragedy of it. Dan is actually too pure of a soul to now be on reality television. Bro was out there literally playing a game of like a millionaire werewolf. And he, he did a strategic move and then, you know, 10,000 of the least sane people you've ever seen in your entire life are on social media like... <laughs> Go away, old man. We hate you. We fucking hate you, bro. You ruined Werewolf. You ruined Werewolf for me. I know I wasn't playing. The producers hate you, bro. That's why, I, and as a result, he'll probably uh, never go on a television reality show ever again. He's too pure. That's why you need someone who's actually like kind of a bad person. Because they can't turn it off. Woo! Oh, well, I got a little souvenir at least. Hang on, hold. Hold. I watched him make a girl cry on Big Brother. 
based. No disrespect. You will not find me going on Big Brother. If I went on Big Brother, I do not think I would win. But one thing you would not catch me doing is going on the show to win $500,000 and then being like, no, no, no. What I actually wanted to do was make one friend I'm never going to talk to again and be seen uh, by a, as a nice guy. What's the point, bro? I could do that from home. You're there to, you're playing a game, man. Maybe we gotta get, maybe we gotta get two of them. Maybe we gotta get two of them. What Twitch emo do you wish came back to notoriety? Great question. Um, what's the, I was trying to find this in, um, in Justin's chat. What's the emote of the guy looking incredulous? Like he's looking at the camera like, like you just said something. You just told like your eighth insane lie of the evening and he doesn't have the energy anymore to argue with you. So instead he just looks at you like, what's that one? No, no, it's a, it's a skinny Caucasian male with brown hair. Yeah, okay, it's, wait a second. It's, I gotta scroll up, I gotta, it's Weird Champ, yeah, Weird, they removed Weird Champ? No, 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 it's, uh, like, I know that that's Weird Champ with Pod Champ's, Pog Champ's face. But there is a Weird Champ face of a Caucasian male as well. I'm being gaslit here, bro. I swear it to you. And he's looking at it like, like he's kind of looking up a bit. Is it the Linus one? I don't know, post, wait, just, just scroll up. It's, it's forehead, it's four weird, four weird. <laughs> yes, I mean, thank you. Was that so hard? It's forehead, guys. Sick of your shit, but he doesn't want to call you out and ruin the energy of the evening for everybody else. So instead, he waits till your Uber comes, and then he says, hey, just so you guys know, like, everything that guy said was like, he was full of shit the whole night. Enable it, please. Okay, well, let, me, let me make this attempt, and next time you see me in the pool, we will enable for weird. Okay. For weird BTTV. Yep, that's it right there. I will add that to my channel. <laughs> Thank you. I gotta be honest though, I, I, I'm half joking when I say this. I feel like, you know how like when you play Lethal Company, you have a shared mod list with your friends so that you're all on the same page? I feel like, Everybody that I collaborate with more than one time per month on average, we need to have a shared emote list. Because I'm rolling over to Apollo's chat. Dude doesn't even have like Keck W enabled. Like it's, it's 2016 mode in Apollo's chat. People are still typing like the, the Twitch sanctioned Pong champ that's like the, the Bones guy. Can you do Pog Bones? Or did, there's Komodo hype too, don't get me wrong. Yeah, people are typing Pog Bones sincerely. 
Then I go over to, to Justin's chat. Justin doesn't have uh, I can't. Then I go over to Chib's chat, and Chib has like so many emotes that I can't even find the emote I'm looking for. Like, he has like 250 better Twitch TV emotes, and he actively prunes the losers out of the list once a week. Like every, every time I go to Chib's stream, there's like a new flavor of the month emote. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah, you're constantly like just trying to <laughs> write a sentence it's so true like you just type like uh what is he talking about and then instead of what it's the yellow m and m like slapping his forehead at the computer <laughs> and you're like i look like a fucking idiot dude Don't get me started on Malf's chat. People are posting like animals hugging other animals and stuff like that. We just, I, I feel like it would be for the best if we all had at least like a shared emote like foundation that then you could build off of. But it's like we absolutely have to have like these 25 uh, better Twitch TV emotes just so that we can communicate in, uh, in other people's chats. I don't think they would do it, though. Explain why you're against 7 TV. Um, easy. I already have better Twitch TV. I got nothing against... 7 TV except I don't I don't have it if I had it I'd probably prefer it to better Twitch TV what's the difference well the difference is I have one it's already here that's like saying I don't need a PS5, I still have my PS4. Let me ask you a question, my brother. Is your life better now that you have a PS5? Or was your life better when you just had a PS4? Better? Oh, okay, more power to you. I didn't realize you loved Madden that much, but... I'm a big believer in... Um, the idea that true contentment and happiness comes from within instead of from without. Uh, so I, I don't chase the sugar high of switching to a so-called better product. I'll just stick with the dog shit version and uh, generate some more dopamine organically for my pancreas, if you don't mind. And uh, no fucking 4K curved 3D 87-inch girth Sony television with the fucking translucent display is going to change that, okay? Hold. Hold. With about a half pound of poop on it. <laughs> If I never said come on, I never feel down. Oh. You see the Balatro subreddit said you got no hoes? <laughs> you know what? They're right. I don't know if they meant that as an insult or something, but yeah, yeah. I don't have any hoes, okay? Because I'm a married man with a kid. He's got that Mike Glambin flow.
Okay. Am I missing something here, by the way? Try blue to blue. Okay. Okay, James Cameron. I see you. Pandora called. They want their favorite color back. I gotta be honest, guys. I'm just keeping it real with you. I was a good dad this weekend, but my kid was pissing me off. <laughs> this is the real side of parenting. They won't show you on TikTok. 38 ass degree fever. Just want to sleep. Kids coming over to me. I don't like you. You shouldn't say things like that to your daddy when he's sick, honey. Daddy loves you very much. Okay, I like you one day a week. And she, for some reason, she started going, I don't know where she learned this from. She started saying butt smash. But then she would literally just like slap me on the head of my dick. She wasn't even smacking me on the butt. She would just walk up to the front of me and go like, and I was getting mad. I was like, don't do that. This is a Getty Lee-ass punishment, bro. That's so good. Like, it's already... I could barely, like, walk up and down the stairs, and all of a sudden, she's, like, you know, just physically abusing me and stuff like that. And then, yes... Oh, dude, yes, this is, like, uh, a Key and peel bit. We went to the park yesterday. Everyone's feeling good for the first time in forever, Okay. I say, hey, why don't you wear your light-up shoes? She says, I want to wear my flower boots. I say, aren't your flower boots too small? She says, no, they're fine. So I say, okay, I put on the flower boots. 20 minutes into the park, you know, 20 minutes from home, she goes, daddy, my foot hurts. Take off her shoes. She's got blisters on both of her heels because of the flower boots. She says, Daddy, carry me. I say, okay, honey, of course. You got these blisters on your heels because of these small-ass boots. Of course I carry you on my shoulder. Trying to carry her on my shoulder for three seconds. She sits up nicely. And then for the rest of the time, she leans all her weight over on my fucking head. And she's like clutching, like, like reaching over my skull to like grab my Adam's apple and shit. It's, you know, it's like a, it's a reasonably long walk home but that's not even where the it ends bro so then we took her home okay put bandages on on each of her heels just so she doesn't pick at it then i had to give her a bath i i run the water it's literally like it's the water is so cold that an adult would not take a bath in it but that's like the temperature that she considers almost too hot to like bear but at some point, you got to make sure the water isn't too cold. Otherwise, it turns solid. It's called ice. So I, I hold her and I dip her toes into the bathtub. And she says, it hurts my Band-Aid. And I say, oh, well, I can understand that maybe like it would hurt the, your foot um, because like the skin got rubbed off a little bit. But you'll get used to it in just a second. She's like, no, it hurts my Band-Aid. And I'm like, well, it's not your Band-Aid. It's your foot. And then she's like going off man anyway so like we got her in the bath cleaned her up everything's good i go to put her pajama pants on she's dancing she's twisting around i'm saying stay still she's jumping up and down while putting the pajama pants on a an atom of pajama pant touched the band-aid and she looked at me and went yeah i say what happened she said you poked my band-aid. I don't like you. And I was like, listen, first off, I told you to wear the light-up shoes that fit comfortably because we were going to go for a long walk, but you insisted on wearing the flower boots because it's uh, so spring-like outside that all the flowers have started to blooming, so you wanted to wear flowers on your shoes because you had flowers on your dress as well. Oppie, did you or not, did you not make the choice to wear small footwear that caused this whole mess in the first place? Anyway. So next time, I'm imposing my will 
on the on the choice of footwear. Oh. Don't go down that path. I guess that's true. It's probably where you, you start to lose the plot as a parent. When you're like, to avoid this in the future, you're like, here's the course of action I'm gonna take. It's naive. You can't avoid it in the future. All you can do is be more patient. That's hard though when you're fucking shit's getting beaten by <laughs> influenza type A 24 7, 311 tiny desk cover of down stuck in your fucking head. Okay, here we go. Oh, that was smooth. Yeah, they do be smacking your head like a damn drum. There's like no survival instinct, bro. Like I'm carrying your whole body on my shoulders. And then you're up here going. Like, what do you, what do you think is going to happen? It's like my ass trying to open the emergency exit of the plane mid-flight. I like it. Okay, hold, hold low, hold low. Hey, Anel, can you audit me? You're not the guy who's asked like 17 times in a row what the capital of Thailand is, right? Oh, fuck. <laughs> he do be splashing. Why is he coughing so much? <laughs> Me every time my toe touches the water. <laughs> oh, man. oh, what a game, man. <laughs> Drinking the water that makes me cough. Oh, man. So it's been like, it's been four years, right? Can you guys tell me of those TikToks about your balls can taste soy sauce? That was all, it was an op, right? Oh. That's a throwback? Not for me. It, it basically feels like last week. I tried it, it was an op. Thank you for being the only honest internet user. It has receptors, but they don't taste. What do you mean receptors? Like nerves? <laughs> like you were a bio major. Please tell me you didn't believe it. Your fucking ass when Charles Darwin steps into the Royal Society in 1807. Charles Darwin, you're a naturalist. Please tell me you don't believe that these organisms arrived at different morphologies as a result of their environment and weren't instead created in their final form by one almighty being. It's science, bitch. That's why we do the experiment. Bless you. Oh, we're not even supposed to be here. We're talking about dipping your balls in soy sauce? Yeah, and the most like revolutionary treatment for inflammatory bowel disorders is literally shoving another person's shit up your ass. If everybody who worked at the fucking fecal transplant lab 
was as much of a naysayer as you, I don't even know what we'd be doing out here. Probably still just eating Danon fruit on the bottom yogurt that doesn't fucking do anything. Yeah, but what good scientifically are soy sauce balls? Fucking zero calorie snack? There's an easy one. That's true, I know. <laughs> so is water. <laughs> Paul Atreides be like, Mmm, sorry, snack time. Gulp, gulp. Water Andrews are so annoying. Like, if you are in love with water so much, why don't you have a six-pack? That's it. Like, every time anyone brings up anything that's less healthy than water, your ass is always in the chat like, have you ever heard of water? Okay, take your shirt off. Are you living by the tenets you claim to live by, motherfucker? Then what's going on right here? And right here? And under here? Or are you being disingenuous to seem greater than you are online? To be an avatar of your own ambition rather than a reflection of your genuine life? Yeah, I lie a little. Okay, that's fine. Just don't be like so annoying about it. People should lie about being less healthy. Instead of being like, oh, like, yeah, I had a salad for dinner. And then like ignoring the part where you also ate like half a bag of Doritos. You should just be like, yeah, I smoke. Yeah, no, I smoked like six cigarettes this morning. That's actually like a sick lie. Because then if you outlive them, they would be like insanely pissed off. They'd be like, what the fuck, bro? But you've been smoking for like 35 years. You'd be like, I don't know, man. <laughs> God just said, fuck you, I guess. I don't know. I don't know why everyone's trying to exaggerate. Like they live the healthiest life of all time. I only eat plant-based salads. Even my lettuce is plant-based. Even the bowl, the bowl is compostable. Just everyone chill out a little bit, okay? Even my bowl is keto. Keto Atreides the second, is that something? And then you could be like uh, Duke Keto Atreides the second after eating 16 slices of buttered bacon and you could make him his eyes like blue as fuck. Please save that tweet in case Oscar Isaac ever goes on Ozempic. Now, I'm not saying at any point he should or that he needs to. I'm just saying that's the only situation in which that tweet would bang and it would go off like a fucking firework. Nearly had it. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You're right. But listen, listen. Should I get into plantains? Be honest. Honestly, I'm going to say no. I never saw a point. I already got bananas. It's the same thing with the better Twitch TV 7 TV. I'm like... For me personally, I don't, I don't need two bananas. I already got bananas. I'll stick with bananas. The switching costs are too high. Right. 
Oh. Hey, buddy, fuck you. Sincerely, the Dominican Republic. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You guys aren't fucking with bananas down there? I guess maybe you're fucking with both. Plantains are closer to potatoes than they are to bananas. Okay, follow-up question. Have you ever seen one? Because no, the fuck they aren't, you insane person. That's a fucking banana, bro. That is an, a, a yellow <laughs> oblong object with a fucking peel that reveals white flesh on the inside. That's a banana, bro. <laughs> oh man. I'm sure they're good. Listen, I'm just gonna say it wasn't the Dominican Republic. But in the in the British Virgin Islands, on our tour, we had a barbecued lunch that was cooked for us by the tour company. And shit went crazy. Some kind of stewed fish, barbecued chicken, uh, like a pulled beef in a sauce type thing, rice and beans, cornbread alongside it. It was fantastic. One of the best meals I had the whole time we were away. And then one of the days you go to Disney's Island and they were like, we have a barbecue cookout style feast prepared. And shit was grody. They were not bringing the heat with the Castaway Key barbecue. They should let the British Virgin Islands tour company handle that shit. They were not giving out Lay's barbecue potato chips as a side. Let's just put it that way. They do that at knots as well. It sucks ass. <laughs> Come on. The Disney barbecue was deaf ass. See, it's there's dozens of us. Also, like I'm not going to tell you necessarily how to be a parent. But there were kids who were like 10 years old who had four hot dogs on their plate. And you're like, brother, at some point, you, me, or the government has to step in. Your kids can eat the hot dogs, but like, can we show like a little bit of restraint? That's kind of normal. No, the fuck it isn't. We're fighting back against this. Four hot dogs for a 10-year-old for a boy? How many is too many? Two. One hot dog and a side is a meal for a 10 year old. Two is like, okay, someone was hungry today, but he's a growing boy and we're on vacation. Three is like, buddy, what the fuck are you doing? You're gonna shit the bed tonight. And four is like, they should be taking you away on a damn gurney or something. Were they Costco sized? I would say two thirds, two thirds of Costco of Costco size. Oh, that he's dead. That's not the way I want to go. With the soda, well, I mean, all the kids are sodered up a hundred percent of the time. That's just I look at it more like. The, the fountain soda is basically like the camelback for the family's vacation. Like, it's what keeps the, the kids having enough energy to do things. I was a four hot dog bitch at age 13. It's crazy to me.
Like, I was fat when I was 13, but I would eat, like, one hot dog. And then I would just wait till my parents went to bed, and I would eat, like, two bags of crispy minis or something like that. I wasn't getting fat at mealtime. I was getting fat at snack time. Also, until I was, like, in high school, my parents, and they come by it honestly, they thought that fruit juice was, like, healthy for you. So we were drinking fruit juice from Concentrate like 90% of our beverages and then water for like 10%. It's like, that's if you wake up after you've brushed your teeth, you can have some water. Otherwise, you might as well have fruit juice because it's like water with the uh, vitamins in it. It was only when, you know, like the first person who ever decided to take a look at nutrition was like, hey, this has a lot of sugar in it. Everyone was like, what? I'm a three hot dog Andy right now. Well, Dio Guiga, I'm just being honest with you. First year of your kid's life, do whatever you have to do to keep your head in the game. Sometimes uh, if we go to Costco, I will have one and a half hot dogs because my wife will only eat half of hers. But by the time I finish that half, I'm like, I shouldn't have done that. Now, the next time it happens, I will do it again. But it's always like just slightly too much food. I mean, the ones at Costco are, uh, they're a foot long, allegedly. Isn't like one slice of pizza from Costco is like, 812 calories or something, too. <laughs> I know people always like to point out that it has, like, an absurd amount of protein. Like, the, the, a cheese pizza slice from Costco has, like, 41 grams of protein or something in it, which is insanity. 44 grams of protein. <laughs> and no meat, bro. That's crazy. It is. It's probably cheaper than protein powder. How do they do that? I think it, they just use like a fuckload of cheese, man. It's like a superfood. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> protein powder goes hard, though. No disrespect. It might be the least hard-going food on the planet. mostly tastes pretty bad, but serves an important function if you're trying to go anabolic. Here we go. And that's all I got. Okay, chat, I need a, this is a, a dietary am I the asshole? I mentioned my wife got Gatorade yesterday. I, uh, I wouldn't say I fell victim. I would say I fell victim to my own curiosity. If she gets a Bev, I'm getting a Bev, okay? I got something, I believe it was called Roar Organic. Yes! For when I need to work up the energy to ask my boss for a raise in an email, but still want to put no worries if not at the end to make sure I don't get fired. It was a cucumber watermelon hydration solution beverage. Here's the, here's the am I the asshole. Am I the asshole for being annoyed that it advertised being vegan on the bottle when of course it's vegan it's water. Am I the asshole or is society wrong? Hmm. 
Mm, looks like we got a pretty even split here. <laughs> Mmm, that's tough. Some flavorings are non-vegan. See, I didn't know that. I assumed they were all made of, like, plutonium in a laboratory. In no way, by the way, am I anti-vegan. If anything, I'm almost like... I, I, I worry that they're getting too much purchase out of advertising what appears to be an obvious vegan food as if like the fact that it's vegan is a, is a new novelty. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Then why would you be annoyed? I don't know. I fucking didn't make my own brain. Buddy, why do you get annoyed when two people are speaking a different language on the bus? Why does your brain initially assume that it's fucking all about you instead of just about their day or something like that? It's fucking social selection from 100,000 years ago on the African savanna. I don't know what the fuck's going on up there. I am both you know, creating my own behavior and also observing it. And that's why we're asking these questions. Yep. Oh! <laughs> that's you? Sorry I have a rich internal life where when I, when I see things, I think about them. I guess I should just pop, pop on... Wait, I gotta think about what band I'm gonna sacrifice here. Mm, I guess I should just pop on some... Owl City in the AirPods and just walk through life with a fake-ass Winston smile on my visage. I'm not causing any problems. I'm not causing any problems. We can make this, man. You should have said Mika. You're just lucky I can't do my Grace Kelly impression. I, I lost that range of my voice. <laughs> try again, try again. Music is funny, man. Dio Guiga, did you do the 90-minute um, California Olympic Park scenic ride today? Pretty good moments on it. Some pretty good moments. That's about all I got. Haven't cycled today yet. Awake all night. I feel that, brother. This is my first time in six days. My mind was playing tricks on me. I think it was like Thursday. I, um, I was like, oh my God, I'm not sick anymore. I feel great. I'm going to ride my bike. I got out of bed and I was like, it was 30 minutes before my alarm went off. I was like, I'm, I'm so much better. And then my foot touched the first staircase and it was like... <laughs> Like I, I don't know how to describe it. The shit hit my bloodstream. Let's put it that way. <laughs> no 
I'm a newborn behavior, but it sucks. Yeah, it's crazy too, cause like society won't let you be mad at your uh, at your kid. So we all have to like do this, you know, little song and dance where you're like, I'm not mad at my child, but like I really wish that they would just like close their eyes and get some sleep. But then inside we we're all doing like the you know, prisoner's dilemma. Am I gonna admit that I'm like a little mad at my kid for this, even though it's not fair? <laughs> or one of the worst things, or not worst, but most annoying, is you'll be like, oh yeah, we didn't get a lot of sleep last night because like our, our daughter was kind of like going crazy. She woke up many times during the night and, uh, you know, we couldn't seem to like calm her down too easily. And then the other person will go like... Uh, Oh, poor girl. And I'm like, did you listen to a word I said? Once she finally went to sleep, she just stayed in there till like 9.30. My ass was up at 5.45. Like, she can sleep as long as she wants most of the time. She's fine. common parlance to pity the child in place of the parents, though? Yes, I know, but it's, uh, it's dishonest. It's dishonest and we should stop. I think we're definitely going to beat the game today. I'd be surprised if we didn't. <laughs> Come on, man. This is the easy part. 